could you start by giving us some information a little bit about your background? Um, talk about being an actress, what you've done, how you got there, because your story's a little different. Okay, I think we all have different stories, and we need to be open to the fact that um, the traditional path that was seen, I'd say, you know, 20 years ago of move to L.A. or New York in order to have success as an actor, um, it's more possible in satellite cities now, and I grew up in South Carolina and um, have a degree in elementary education and a master's in guidance, and I taught um, full-time, self-contained um, elementary school for 10 years. And during the summers, I did print modeling and got into commercial acting as well. So it really wasn't something, um, it was a side thing. And we started growing our family. I have three sons. And at that time, I stayed home with them. Okay. And so that allowed the segue into something that I realized I enjoyed. As I, as I did the commercial work and had worked in some independent films, um, Savannah College of Art and Design is close to Charleston, South Carolina, where I lived at the time, and I would go in and work for a few days on some of the student films and just learn that way. It was very, like, untraditional. I didn't I didn't go to film school. Um, I didn't major in theater. I think you just theater. gave a lot of people some hope. <laughs> I hope so. You know, there are, there are a million different ways to get to the same place, and if it's something that you really love and enjoy doing, I think you'll find your way there. Well, let's talk about some of your credits. I know that you have worked in several Hallmark films, including mm -hmm. The Shunning yes. and The Confession. Yes. Um, the Shunning was filmed in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and that is definitely the largest thing that I've done at this point in my career. I had a lead role, and I played Danielle Panabaker as the actress who played my daughter, and I was her Amish mother, and Sherry Stringfield, you may remember her from ER, she played the birth mother. Um, I was able to step into this role. My mother is German, so I'd heard her accent oh, wow. all of my life. Life. And so I went in um, to the audition mimicking my mother. <laughs> All of that mocking paid off. That obviously uh, worked. <laughs> I know. Michael Landon Jr. directed it, oh, wow. and Brian Bird, who was well known um, in television and film, the two of them produced together. And we filmed, The Shining aired in 2011 and now can be found on Netflix and, you know, videos and so forth. But The Confession airs May 11th on Mother's Day weekend and it is just a continuation. They're based on Beverly Lewis novels. And so there are three in this particular series and the second one's going to be incredible. I, I've seen little snapshots from it and the trailer, you can go to YouTube and and look for the confession and see I the trailer. Did that. Just to, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So I'm so well, excited about it. And and also to your credit for films, obviously, The Notebook. Yes, I lived in Charleston, South Carolina at the time, and went in and auditioned. Um, I read the book by Nicholas Sparks the night before my audition. It's a beautiful story. It and is. so I'm so glad that it was made into to film because it's a classic and, and has so many different um, we connect. I think anyone at any age can connect to that film. It's. I, I haven't met a person that actually does not like that film. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you want to label a film a chick flick or anything mm -hmm. else. That film is just an excellent, excellent film. And that was my start. I said, you look gorgeous, honey, to Rachel <laughs> McAdams. That was my start. Well, tell us about tomorrow. You'll be teaching um, a workshop called Acting in Front of the Camera, L.A. Style. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Okay. Um, it'll be a continuation of what we're hinting on right now. I want to share how from from the East Coast, how I'm able to get connected with these projects when they come in, you know, from LA. Right. Um, I have an agent who's fantastic out of Atlanta, and um, because I've built the credits on my resume, um, and I will share how you go about obtaining an agent and wow. how you go about obtaining credit and training and so forth. Um, 
And then just the whole process is changing through technology. We have the opportunity to put ourselves on tape right. and send it in for first round auditions and then go in. Just this past week, I had a call back for a lead role in a movie they're shooting in North Carolina and got to meet with the director. So good things are happening and you think, okay, how is that possible? And there were actually actors that flew in for the same audition, same role wow. from LA. Flew into North Carolina. So the too. folks that perhaps don't have all the answers can actually compete and be successful. If if you want, you know, if you want to do this, if you want to do anything, you're going to passionately pursue it and figure out how to, you know. So I'm just saying, don't let anyone tell you no. Absolutely, it's, it's true. Go for it. That's what Go we're hoping it. to accomplish through our conference is to um, open some doors and opportunities. Yes and to educate folks there's more than one way to and there's to get a there. great panel the people i know so many of them from either working with them or going to other film festivals and and meeting them and the the panel is they're warm they're inviting i mean we want to have personal conversations with you and see if there's any input we can give to help you you know go to the next level well i think you're going to have lots of folks standing in line to do just that <laughs> that's why we're here sandra thank Super. you so much thank you